Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Sam Houston State Bearcats and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Number one is one of the players that you're going to want to pay close attention to tonight. He's the complete package. He seems to have a knack for coming up with the big plays when his team needs them, be it a bucket or a stop. He delivers. The Cowboys will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Cowboys should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for him to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Secondly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. And finally, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Teams are looking to get something going here. Now the high screen for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dumps it in. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He strokes it. Holland was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. They get out on the break. Tries for two. He drains the bucket. They work it around the arc. In the paint. He does the sweet fake shot. Jump hook from the low post. I a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the dribble, gives it up. Lockhart is pretty fired up and excited. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. And he scores despite the hack. Working it around the perimeter. Puts up the shot. Great screen set up, but the shot will go. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. And the ball goes out of play. Trying to feed inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Samuel fakes the shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing them off. They look to get it to the inside. This is what you're supposed to do down low, go up strong. I'll tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. Basic. The power forward with the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. Leans in. Tickles the twine. <laughs> Try to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, blocks. Nice job defensively. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. Trying to go inside for the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Screen up on top. He's got a nice shot fake. Good fake. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That's exactly what they expect from him. That young man is doing some great things for this program, Dick. He's what I like to call a surf and turf, a superstar. Only the special ones get to this level. Takes the pass in the paint. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. There's a double team waiting there. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The man is off the charts, Brad. Pass in the paint. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there. And I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught. And this kid has responded in a positive way. Austin comes up with it. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. Up and inside! It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He pump fakes. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> the power forward takes the feed. He goes for three. Gets it to fall. They're working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He tries the three ball. He shows the sweet touch. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Nice fake. Fakes it. With a little baby hook. And he missed. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Lockhart steps to the line for the first time. The small forward takes the pass, showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Tries for two. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Why don't you put a uniform on? Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. For the bucket, they still don't score. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> the 
decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. It's good. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts a jump hook. Mate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The center gets the pass, and he goes with a spin. I'll tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and you spin back the other way. Gave it up. The center gets the ball. he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Double team now, bad angle. And back they come the other way. For two, do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Intercepted. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Perfectly executed. The Bearcats have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. With a deep shot from outside. That's good. On the outside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for the nice deuce. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries for two. He buries it. Dribble gives it up. The fake kicks it out. He fouled him. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Now working around the arc. On the inside for the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Got to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Got an open look if he wants it. Gave it up. A little frustration right there. 
Look at perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to bat. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Pushing that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. From the top of the key. Drains it. The circle they work it around the perimeter with the fake. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. There he is, strips the ball loose. of a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Shoots. Off the rim and no good. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Jumps into the defender. Oklahoma State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Got the high pick. Austin got the bucket and the foul. He made a statement of that play, baby. He ain't backing down is his cry. Going to the line. Makes the shot. Great anticipation defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. the trigger. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Turns it over. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up away the pass looking for a good shot he shoots from downtown he gets the bucket they go with the entry pass on the post turnaround jumper off the lazy pass on the dribble gives it up picked out of the air way out on top controlling the ball what a great steal defensive player was really right on top of that basketball didn't give it to him down low going the other way in front to take it away trying to draw some contact basket falls despite the contact picks off the pass
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Fake, working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, great shot. baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. The small forward takes the, he takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. To the charity strike. Hits that one. Oh, the pick comes back to haunt the screener that time. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Steals a pass. Wide open for the shot. He's got a high post flasher. Looking for a good shot. Gives it up. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Cowboys have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Here we go on the break. For two. He intercepts it. perimeter picked off attempts the Hail Mary off the rim and no good at the half the Bearcats are trailing by 14 if you missed the play of the half here's another look Oklahoma State was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. In the paint. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? On the outside. 
He unloads. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. In and out. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Almost lost a basketball. Stop and pop. The Cowboys have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. But he's on fire. Too many dribbles and a steal. Takes the pass in the paint. For the bucket. And he scores it off the glass. The ball goes out of bounds. man in high post trying to draw the foul Holland makes the finger roll the ball goes out of play Dick has that backcourt comparison shaping up the event hey Brad that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves how can they as coaches get the most out of their guards are they quick enough to pressure the opponent or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. The Cowboys are ahead by 22. On the outside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He buries the shot. was loose but the offense got it back I post screen and the ball goes out of play standing ovation you've got to love this reaction by the crowd what emotion what passion the crowd appreciates their effort step out on that screener Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Oh, what a strip, Red. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the sixth man for no reason. With the jump hook, and he missed. Drops the bucket despite the harm. on the steal that's going to be the offense's game yes sir they got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble there's the trap he attempts the three got it side to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass
puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating the good angle, too, but he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Intercepted. And a momentary look from three-point land. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? They'll work it around the arc. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He fires from long range. Poor decision there to shoot that three. That shot was definitely over-advised. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders, that's awesome, Brad. With the freebie. Misses the first shot. Second one, no good. He takes the board. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Working around the perimeter. On the outside. Tries a three. Way off target. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Oklahoma State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, now to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. Let's it fly. The Cowboys have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Takes away the pass. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. On the outside, he's open if he wants the shot. Holland picks up the foul. Second team foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, this is not the start he wanted tonight. He is his team's marquee performer, and his slow start could be a recipe for disaster. We'll have to see how his teammates respond to all this, and we'll continue to monitor it from the sidelines. Brad? Thanks, Aaron. Nobody inside! He bombs from outside. He gets that one to fall. Oh, 
looking for a good shot. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They want to win. He makes the block, and the ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turned it out. I definitely didn't expect this. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Pushing that basketball. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense, half court, pound the ball inside offense. Hey, teams like Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma are usually on top of the stand because they can play that style. Entry pass in the paint, control of the ball, stolen away. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two. They still don't score. And they come with a double team to stop it. From left of the circle, he hits it. The Cowboys are ahead by 37. to the line off but getting there is half the battle you then must convert your free throws the ball goes out of bounds Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. With a bucket and off the mark. Another turnover. I mean, I'm not talking out the turnovers either. For two, Sam Houston State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive play. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job running him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Now they work it around the perimeter. Very soft deep. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Kicks off the lazy pass. 
working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. He drains it. The Bearcats trail by 37. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Push the basketball. Picked out of the air. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to go. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Double team now, bad angle. Robs him of the ball. Up and inside. He tries the three. Oklahoma State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Now they'll bring it up. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Here's a three. He's money with the shot. Jumped in front to take it away. And the fans here are loving the action. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Takes it away. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets it to go. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And he missed. He comes away with it. The kick out. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. You can't forget about them. The winning rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Too much. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression.
How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. He misses the second. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gives it up. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Hard foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They'll work it around the arc. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Outside jumper. He drains the shot. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. He got the bucket to go, and he'll have the chance to add one more. He saw the foul coming, Brad, but he got it up anyway. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created the foul opportunity. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for a good shot. Has got the people in the bleachers up in appreciation. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Way to cover the ball on defense. It causes a five second infraction. Ball's coming from the sideline. Shot clock is dead. Up and inside. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. He really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. 
Oklahoma State made this one look embarrassingly easy tonight. Well, they came into favorites, and it did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.